Okay, uh, another story we're following today. Small business owners across Canada say they've been waiting to receive more than $2.5 billion of carbon tax rebates, as promised in the budget. But apparently they're in the dark on specifics, including the size and timing of these rebates. And a new report by the Canadian Federation of Independent Business says a strong majority of these small businesses want the government to scrap the carbon tax system. They say it's been unfair to them. Let's bring in Dan Kelly, President and Chief Executive Officer at CFIB. Dan, great to talk to you. Update us first on these rebates. Uh, how long, what, how, do, how, is that, how is that meant to work, that system? Yeah, look, after uh, a long, long period of waiting, small businesses did hear in the 2024 budget in the spring that they would finally start to receive the $2.5 billion that has already been collected and promised to small businesses, yet never delivered. This is money stemming back from 2019 when the carbon tax was first created, uh, as it's been expanded beyond the prairie provinces in Ontario to Atlantic Canada. Now eight provinces are under the federal carbon backstop. 10% originally of the revenue was to be dedicated to go back to small firms, but the federal government's delivered zero of that money. Uh, so it is, how, it is good news that small firms are to get it back. We still, though, post-budget, haven't received details. The government said that they would urgently return the money back to small businesses. Uh, I guess urgently doesn't mean four or five months. Uh, we are hoping that we'll see something happen in the fall. Uh, but we don't have the exact amounts, and business owners are asking, where's the money and, and when is it coming? What is the government saying? Look, uh, we're, we're following up with them uh, in real time, but, uh, but we, we've sensed that this will be delivered over the course of the fall. Uh, the methodology we expect uh, that the, the that 600,000 small businesses will get a share of that two and a half billion dollars, uh, but beyond that, the exact amounts we we just don't know. So we're we're trying to get answers from Ottawa. Unfortunately, even with that carbon tax rebate money coming back, the ongoing carbon tax, uh, the government has said small business owners were actually going to reduce the amount that that you're expected to get back from about 10 percent down to 5% in future years. Uh, so that certainly wasn't good news either. And it's one of the reasons why most small businesses today want the whole thing scrapped. They want to see the whole system gone because the government hasn't had, unfortunately, a great deal of credibility in returning the money as it's promised. That's interesting. So it's not necessarily the carbon tax they're opposed to. It's just the way they say the government has bungled it and dragged its feet on getting the money back. I think there are two camps. There are, of course, many small business owners that don't like the idea of a tax on carbon in the first place. Others that have supported some action uh, on climate change but feel like this is the wrong measure. Uh, and if a carbon tax is supposed to be revenue neutral and you've promised to return a slice of it back to business owners uh, to cover the costs that they are paying, well, you kind of got to do it if you're going to have any credibility. Uh, so we're still waiting five years later for the government to make uh, make good on that first commitment. Uh, but sadly, uh, going forward, they're looking at even reducing that small amount. Uh, we estimate that about 40 percent of the overall carbon tax is paid for by business. And now only five percent of the revenues will be coming back to those those communities uh, if the government gets around to making this happen. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, so how, but remind us how the system was supposed to work. I know that lower income Canadians get a rebate of carbon tax. That's and right. uh, so was this a rebate just for small businesses? It was. Uh, the government announced uh, when the carbon tax was created that a chunk of the money, 10 percent approximately, would be returned to small businesses and indigenous organizations. Uh, but they couldn't figure out a methodology of how to do that. In fact, the proposals that were kicking around in Ottawa would have returned that two and a half billion to a less than 20,000 small firms across the country. We saw that and said, wait a minute, there are almost, a, there, there, there's over a million businesses with paid staff alone. Uh, why are they, they're all paying it. Why are they not getting a slice back? Uh, luckily, and, and we give the federal government credit for this, they did listen and put in place a new approach to getting the money back and have expanded the scope today uh, businesses with staff between one and 499 are to get a chunk back of the carbon tax revenue. So if you have under 500 employees, you're a uh, federal, if, if you're a Canadian controlled private corporation, uh, you will get in those eight provinces, excluding Quebec and BC, 
you will get a chunk of the carbon tax revenue back uh, for the last five years. You don't have to apply. It's supposed to come back automatically. We're just waiting on word as to when and, and how much the money is going to be on a per firm basis.